Okay, guys, this is a uh, this is for uh, science uh, ten physics uh, chapter uh, five point two kinetic energy. I'm going to be using the notes that was given to you. So here's the uh, kinetic energy question. We're going to look at number one. A pitcher throws a hundred forty gram baseball, give, giving it a velocity of thirty one meters per second. And what is the kinetic energy of the baseball? Always write what your knowns are, and then write the formula and think about your substitution and then your answer with units. So one of the first things you'll have to do is that you'll have to convert the grams to kilograms because the formula you need to, this to be in kilograms and because the there's the line of, um, this line get, uh, separates the numerator from the denominator, the grams cancel off and you're left with an answer in kilograms. You won't have to change the speed because it's already in 31 meters per second and it's in two significant digits. Okay, so I know I hate the fact that I'm showing you this triangle and some of you are laughing your heads off right now, but uh, it does work. And so if you can't solve algebraically, this is the formula for it. So if you look at it right there, EK would be equal to, um, would be equal to ma uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 times mass times velocity squared. So I wrote the formula, EK is equal to 1 half mv squared. I did the substitution 0 0.5 times 0 0.4, uh, uh, one, sorry, 0 0.410 kilograms times 31 meters per second squared. You'll notice that I also separated this out for you to help you figure that out. So we get a kilogram meter per second squared. And because there's two significant digits in the, in the, final, in the original question, the uh, answer works out to being 67 and this is a joule. Okay, this is number three. A sprinter has a mass of 55 kilogram has a kinetic energy of uh, 1090 joules. How fast is the sprinter running? So you will have to solve algebraically and we'll go through the process. Okay, you always want to write down your knowns the following grasp, following your note, your givens, then your formula, your substitution, your answer with units. So the givens are 55 kilograms. You've got um, 1,090 joules, uh, and you've got these separate units that are here that break it down: kilogram meters per second squared, meters per square second squared, and this is our unknown. Okay, so you see the triangle, which I hate. But if you put your thumb or your finger over top of the, you know, the V squared, you'll notice that it's EK divided by, uh, under the brackets would be, under the line would be 0.5 times the mass. So you know I'm going to ask you to cancel off some units. you notice that the kilograms can cancel off, so you got meter squared per second squared. So you'll notice that this is still V squared. This is 39.63 repeating meters per second squared. You take the square root of that, that gives us 6.295. And then it's only two significant digits from the original question, so it's 6.3 meters per second. Okay, so now we're going to solve algebraically to isolate for it. And that's the way I want you to be able to do it. So I've got the formula EK is equal to 1 half mv squared. Do the numerator denominator line and then separate this out like this, all the way down. So at this moment you should recognize that you want to get rid of the 2 here. So you put the 2 on the numerator side, multiply by the inverse. What you do to one side you must do to the other. And then that will cancel off the 2 on this side. So now the equation reads 2ek equals mv squared. Okay, the next step is to um, Divide by mass to get rid of the mass, so you either multiply by the inverse or put it on the div. So you multiply by the inverse, so 1 over the mass. So 1 over the mass. And then because of doing that, then the mass cancels off. You'll notice that this will leave us with uh, 2 ek divided by mass is equal to v squared. So then you take the square root on both sides, and that will cancel off the squared on this side and that will leave you with the equation 
v is equal to the square root of 2ek divided by the mass. Then you rewrite it because we read from left to right. So as usual, I'll ask you to cancel off. You'll notice that the kilograms will cancel off. And because this is squared, or square root, that will cancel off. So after you take the square root and you put the plug numbers in, you take the square root, you get 6.295, but because it's uh, two significant digits, um, your answer will be 6.3, and the final units are meters per second. And yes, I do realize that the speed using the triangle is the same as the speed using the solving algebraic technique. So this is a question number five. Peregrine Falcon dives at a speed of 85 meters per second and has 2,868 joules of kinetic energy. What is the mass of the Peregrine Falcon? So I will use the tri tri triangle technique and I will also solve algebraically. Don't laugh too hard about the triangle. Okay, so the knowns are uh, 85 meters per second, uh, 2,868 joules, which are broken down into kilogram meters squared per second squared, and our, what we're trying to solve for is the mass. Okay, if you notice the, uh, the triangle technique, uh, if you end up covering up the mass, the M, uh, you would see that if you cover this up right here, you're left with ek is equal to point uh, is equal to the bra uh, 0.5 times v squared. Okay, when you substitute in, what you end up seeing is that uh, you've got uh, 2,086 kilogram meter per second squared per second squared, and the meters per second squared, and they end up canceling off, that cancels off, the last thing you have left is kilograms. Now since there's two significant digits, um, because the original question had two significant digits, your answer is 0 0.79 kilograms. Peregrine Falcon is pretty light. Okay, it's time to solve algebraically. You'll notice that I've got the numerator denominator line there, and, I've, uh, and we're going to be isolating for uh, mass, so we want to get rid of the 2, so we multiply by the inverse. Uh, what we do to one side, we must do to the other. And as soon as we do that, the 2's cancel out over here. Now the, the equation is 2ek is equal to mv squared, and we're trying to get rid of the uh, v squared to isolate the mass. So you multiply by the inverse, and by doing that, it cancels off the v squared on this side, and what we do to one side, we must do to the other. So the formula is uh, 2ek uh, divided by v squared is equal to mass. We write it because that's how we read, uh, that's how we read it is from uh, left to right. So when we have, uh, we have, we've got these units that are here, we've got 2 times, you want to put those in brackets on the numerator side, the 2 times uh, 2,868 kilogram meter per second squared. Let's cancel some stuff off. The meter squared per second squared cancels off over here with those two. So you're left with the units that's left in grams. And the final answer is kilograms, so we get 0 0.79 kilograms. Okay, so I'm going to put number 7 on a separate video because uh, that one I'll discuss how work is equal to, uh, because work is in joules, kil uh, kinetic energy is in joules, and uh, potential energy is in joules, and how they're all interrelated and how you, you're able to substitute one formula into the next.